welcome. My name's Jenny. Um, welcome to one of the videos for the 12 days of Christmas. This section is Tai Chi. If you've done a little bit at the end of the class or if you've never done it before, it's a really nice way of doing some relaxation. All you need is a chair and just a little bit of room around you. Um, if you are sitting in a dining room chair, that would probably be better. Um, although they can be done in a lounging chair, just watch your back position. If you are sitting down, just make sure that you're supported and your feet are flat on the floor. If you can imagine a thread attached to the ceiling, so you're lengthening through your spine. And I just want you to take a nice deep breath in. So you're gonna breathe in through the nose and then breathe out through the mouth. I'm going to do one more of these. So each breath is lovely and long. And what I want you to do is just bring your hands up to around your tummy. As you breathe in, you're going to bring the arms out. And as you breathe out, you bring the arms together, but not touching. So the fingers are relaxed. The wrists are nice and released. There is no right or wrong with this. So you don't need to worry if it doesn't quite look the same as me. All you need to think about is just your breathing. So try to just take any to-do lists or anything else you've got left to do today, just to the back of your mind and just focus for the next 10 minutes just on your breathing. So we're just gonna breathe in and then breathe out. And again, the movements can be as big or as small as you want them to be. If you do have any shoulder problems or they're feeling a little bit achy, you just reduce what you do. And again, all of these movements can be done standing if you wanted to just stand and just use your arms. Lovely. So we're gonna do one more. And then all we're gonna do is take one arm up over to the top of the head and then slowly bringing it down. So this is called clouds dancing in the sky. So just bring the arms up, release and slowly come down. Starting to challenge and just work through the shoulders following the gaze at the hands as they slowly come down, breathing in and then breathing out. Breathing in and then breathing out. And we're just gonna do one more each side. And then from there, all we're gonna do is push the palm across the body, turn the palm up and then bring it back to your lap. So breathing in, turn the palm and breathing out. So again, that movement can be as big or as small as you want it to be. Just pushing the palm across, release and come back. Breathing in and then breathing out. Lovely, so just try not to overreach, keeping those shoulders down. Really good. Wrists are soft, no tension in the hands. And we're just gonna do one more to each side. And then from there, keeping the palms up, you're going to overlap one over the other. If you can keep the right hand over the left, just in Tai Chi, they tend to give more power to the right arm. Sorry if you're left-handed. Breathing in and then breathing out. So the movements, this is a lovely one for opening through the shoulders, releasing tension. We all carry a lot of tension around our necks, so this is a lovely one just for releasing and opening. And again, those movements can be as big or as small as you want them to be. Just focusing on that lovely long breath, just making sure that that thread's still attached to the ceiling. So we're not collapsing through the back, we're staying nice and tall. And then we're just gonna stop and go the other way. So a lovely opener again through the chest. Again, keeping that movement to just what feels comfortable for you. Trying not to speed the movement up and just keeping that breath in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. Lovely, so we're just gonna do two more. And then last one, and then you're going to bring the palms together, coming up towards the head and then just sweeping out. So just breathing in, coming up, breathing out and sweeping away. So again, a lovely one just for stretching through the arms. You can keep the movement smaller. 
Again, if you start to feel a little bit lightheaded, just reduce the movement. Sometimes when you lift the arms above the head, you can sometimes feel a little lightheaded. So just reduce the movement. Breathing in, coming up, breathing out and down. Lovely. And we've just got one more to do. Breathing in, breathing out. And then from there, you're going to take one hand behind you, push the palm forwards, bring it back and release. Looking behind, push forwards and release. So you can make the movement smaller or you can make that movement larger, whatever feels more comfortable for you. It's a lovely one for opening through the shoulders, looking where the hands are going. So you're mobilizing through the shoulders, working through the neck, releasing tension in the shoulders and still breathing. And again, just rest anytime you need to. Join back in. Lovely, so we've got one more to do on each side. And then all we're gonna do is bring the palms together, slowly coming up so there's a small area of tension between the hands, but you're not pressing. We're just stretching through the fingers, bringing the hands up and then bringing them down just between the legs. All of these movements have names. This one's called the Jade Phoenix Nods Its Head. They all have very strange names. I just like to think of a bird just lifting its head to swallow and then taking another drink. And then from there, just making sure you're not speeding through the movements. We've got one more to do. And then we're going to meet so that they're facing the screen and then just working through the wrists, just taking it from one side to the other. So there's a small rotation and a small movement through your waist. But again, if that doesn't feel right on your back, you can keep that movement smaller. So just breathing in, releasing any tension through the wrists and breathing out, just taking it very gently from one side to the other. you can hear I've got a clicky wrist. So we've got one more each side, breathing in, breathing out and then slowly coming back. This time we're just going to breathe in, breathe out and press down. So the movements come through and then breathing out. Just refocus how you lengthen through the spine, tummy engaged, just give your toes a little wiggle if you need to. last time and then all you're going to do is push palms one forwards one strokes down turn the palms one strokes forward and you're just stroking the arms but not touching breathing in breathing out breathing in and breathing out lovely this one is a bit of a coordination one so one palm faces, one palm down, stroking through the arm and release a lovely one just to release through the shoulders. And then just one more. From there, coming back, I want you to imagine that you're holding a ball. That ball can be as big or as small as you want it to be, preferably not bigger than a bowling ball. And just turning the elbow, imagining, feeling the ball, slowly turning it round and then slowly round. So think of the texture, think of the weight. Sometimes you can start to feel a little bit of a warmth between the palm of the hands, that's absolutely fine. 
and don't worry if you can't. From there, we're going to stop here, top elbow, a small twist round, turning the ball, and then we rotate round to the other side. So the top elbow leads, breathing in, breathing out, and then just following that movement through. Again, you can make that as big or as small as you want it to be. And again, if the rotation doesn't feel right, you can keep that movement smaller without actually over rotating through your lower back. So just work with what your body says. Release and roll. And then just one more to each side, breathing in and then breathing out, making this the last one. Coming back to the center, you're gonna push that ball up and allow the hands to float down. Push the ball up and float down. So you can take those arms up as high as you want to, slowly coming up, breathing in, breathing out, releasing down. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely stretch through the arms. And then just one more to each side. Gently coming up, release down. Gently coming up, release down. Holding that ball, we're gonna take it up and over. So this is called the Wheel of Fortune. You can keep it around your heart center if it feels too much effort to take the hands above the head or your shoulders are becoming a little bit tired. Just work with what feels comfortable for you. So breathing in, breathing out, really focusing on keeping that ball in its distance. And then just one more. And then from there, we're going to turn the ball over and take it the other way. So again, you can keep that movement small or you can take it a little bit wider. Breathing in. Breathing out, just making sure you're not holding your breath. Should start to feel lovely and warm. Shoulders are beginning to feel released. And just two more if you can. And one more. And then from there, just gently taking the hands from one side, releasing the wrists, taking them to the other side. Breathing in and breathing out. You may notice your breath is a little bit more exaggerated just because you've been using your arms. And again, anything over your head will make you work a little bit harder. Breathing in, breathing out. Just releasing those shoulders. Trying not to lose that seated position, the threads that attach to the ceiling. Last little bit. And then release, palms up, we breathe in. We breathe out, just three more breaths. Now focusing, lengthening through the spine. Just two more. And then last one. From there, release. Allow the arms to drop, just roll your shoulders back and release. Just two more. And then one more. Bring your hands together, give yourself a bow and a clap. Well done. You did really well. I hope you enjoyed it.